Good morning. I am trying to get the computer up and running over here. Normally I do that, give y'all a chance to get online and stuff like that. So I'm also shipping out a package this morning as well. Trying to get that set up for the post here. Uh, it goes. It's pretty calm outside. It's good. I just want to know how the weather was last night. That was pretty windy. What's up, William? Super five, brother. Already at it. Let's see. Oh, I need a better, better little holder. In the butt. On the road again. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here on the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think you'd be able to get on while, while you were... Are you already on the way back to the house, or are you on your way out? No, I'm actually waiting for uh, waiting for Terry to get done at this one school. Oh, okay. So, cool deal. Yeah. How's the weather out What's there? What's going on, William? Uh, well, when I left the house this morning, some big old snowflakes were coming down. I don't know if that's good or bad for y'all, but for us, it's pretty cool to hear it. We're not there. <laughs> I'm just waiting for all this damn snow to quit falling down and just let spring bring it get in here because this is horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of waiting for that one, so I'm on. <clears throat> Tired of seeing the snow. <laughs> yeah, I kind of kind of figured that one, <clears throat> but yeah, now we uh. Saying happy birthday to Nora this morning. Um, again, turned nine years old. The girl's getting too old too fast, man. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I don't know. That that is something I noticed too, William. This morning, last night it was twenty four four. Now it's twenty four three, and I think we're missing like one or two subscribers. Like, dang, that sucks. Like we got there and then. Yeah, it's the wrong channel for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we'll get him back. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Let's see. Yeah, we're one short. So we lost one of them. Yep, yep, yep. It's all right, it's all right. But uh, nah, I started uh, started this morning. Getting all the stuff ready so I can do all these leaders. I already moved the, uh, the hooks over here. So, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. nice. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah, Nora wants the Outback Steakhouse, of course. Probably wants a steak. <laughs> Talk <Yeah>. too well. <laughs> Hell yeah, you raised your rat. <laughs> but I don't know if it's allergies or what, man. I woke up kind of uh, sniffling or whatever. I guess it was from all the, the stuff that was blown in yesterday from the uh, the northern or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I'm waiting for my allergy pill to kick in. That way I can uh, be done with it or whatever, but yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. 
dang, we're already up to 35, so, yeah. Oh, man, I am definitely eager for this week, this weekend. Um, so antsy because, you know, we're kind of waiting on the weather to decide what it's going to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, muchas gracias. I was reading. I was reading his. No. Oh. So, I can read semi okay for the most part. I get most of it, but I don't. Rem- I, uh, I'm not extremely fluent in it and stuff like that. But <laughs> right. That's right. Everybody tells me that uh, because you know, moving from Texas, they automatically think that I know Spanish. I said, no, I speak Texan. <laughs> yeah, that's its own language right there for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I went through that all the time in the Marine Corps. Like they, they, they pretty much knew we were from Texas, kind of deal. It's like the three states: Florida, Texas, California. Every everywhere else is just like they don't even think of it. <laughs> it's crazy. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, and. I mean, I don't know if it's because most of the guys were from those three states, but I, I had, I know guys from Mississippi, Louisiana, uh, Illinois, uh, where else? Kentucky, Michigan, Georgia. I mean, all over, all over, all over, all over. But those were the ones that, like, I can remember right off hand and stuff like that. So, yeah. No, Billy have not decided on where we're fishing just yet because I, I, I'm, we got to see what the weather's going to do. I'm not trying to be there at 2 o'clock in the morning moving camp because the tide came way up. You know what I mean? It, it, it sucks, man, because normally about that time, everybody's drained already from all the kayaking or fighting the the, uh, uh, the surf and all of that. So, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Angelo. Yep. And actually... His would be a lot longer, but he, he did a fundraiser and he cut it down for that. Or no, it was a, a beer tournament, right? Yeah. He did that. He cut it up for the pork chop? Or Yeah, I went I went chops because of uh we were raising money for uh the prostate cancer. There you go. Yeah, before I left Texas before I left Texas, my beard was down to here. Yeah, and of course, then I went chops, and then I had to go catch one side on fire. <laughs> you do that? You haven't told us that story. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now I was I, I was out in the shop, and I was cutting up a piece of pipe, and I guess a spark. On this side right here, caught got caught in it. (laughs) Oh man! It is a distinct smell when you catch your hair on fire, too. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Damn man! Yeah. I even had a couple of people ask me, "Says what?" Did you catch a hair on your head on fire? I said, well, no, because I ain't got no hair on top of my head. <laughs> that was funny. Yes, Was it yesterday when the guy was saying we needed a haircut and a beard trim? And you just said, <laughs> Halfway done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking about the pier, too. Just because... Uh, yeah, we can park further back away like that, and it'll be a lot easier to run baits because once you get out past the third bar or the second, you don't have to keep fighting it. You know what I mean? It's definitely a lot easier. But getting to the end of the pier can sometimes be a challenge in its own for sure. So but, yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah, I, I, I prefer running baits on the pier any day of the week because it's just, you know, you don't have to keep running back through the surf. You can chill there and catch your breath and then take off again, you know, halfway through it. As long as the winds ain't blowing, you know, 
40 miles an hour and shit. <clears throat> oh, man. So what you got going for later on today, Bob? Right now, I'm trying to find a... Yeah, I'm just, today it's going to be like a bunch of running around, which sucks because then I'm not at the house getting leather done. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. The only thing that right now, what I'm looking for, all I'm looking for, too, is three-quarter inch D-rings. That's all I'm looking for. And not yeah. a single hardware store in this freaking town or the town next to me has any. So, you're going to have to order online or you have to go out further? <clears throat> No, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to, have to probably have to go all the way down to Mount Pleasant right now to see if, like, a Hobby Lobby or, you know, maybe a Joanne's Fabric might carry them. Because I'm not driving over four hours to get to, you know, the, the Tandy Leather Store that's up here. Damn it. So, Top tide calls for two foot above sea level. <clears throat> Uh, here we go. <laughs> Why do girls rub their eyes when they get up in the morning? Uh. Holiday, <laughs> what's going on, brother? Oh, there's Holiday. What's up, boss? <laughs> All righty, Holiday came in, came in with the swinging for the fences. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They don't have a there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. How's the little one doing, John? Yep. We are definitely. Uh, when I said I was gonna go early in the, in the morning because I have a VA appointment and I leave here at ten, so I'm gonna be live here till about nine forty-five. And I gotta roll out. So. Uh, it's not. It's a. Uh, oh, you got a forty-five minutes. Never mind. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm an hour behind you, boss. <laughs> He's like, uh, hello. <laughs> You're looking out though. Some sometimes. You know, the you sad thing. I am actually only maybe a couple hours away from that time zone split. I wonder how the guys live like five minutes away from that time zone split and they have to work over here or work on the over here. You know what I mean? That's got to mess with them. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Getting ready for a state testing. Promised him a Roblox watch. Hey, dang <laughs> man. Can, can I go test too? <laughs> right? I'd play with it. Hell yeah. I'm a right. Lego kid. I, I still play with Legos. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Man, I need something to drink. Hold on. Hey, anytime, William. Hey, Toby. Toby in the house? Yeah. He is? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, man. We, we got the force today. Got a few, few good heads in here. <laughs> Pretty much nothing but Blue Ranger. Somebody's going to come on the channel and be like, <laughs> is it okay to comment? Yes, it is okay to comment, guys. <laughs> yeah. Holiday, I'm doing actually doing pretty good, but I'm on the search for freaking two pieces that shouldn't cost more than four dollars to get, but I got to spend twenty dollars in fuel to get. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet. Just, I bet. Just because I got to have them out by Friday. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Now, that's, that's been one of the things, too, like with me when I'm waiting on orders to come in and they're not coming in. And 
So I end up going to pay, you know, more to, at the local stores just so I can yep. keep my customers up and running, you know, for sure. So uh, yep. that, that's part of part of doing business, you know. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the, got Ed, the only Edgar in the house. Edgar. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we used to have a, there was an Amish guy that down in Farwell that uh, had a, like a saddle shop type place for the Amish people. But I stopped over there this morning and it didn't look like he was open anymore. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, because he was only 45 minutes away, which was nice. If I needed anything, I could just hitch on down to his place and grab something. Damn, and you don't have these guys' number that we could just call them? <laughs> He's Amish. I mean, the other guys. <laughs> He's Amish. You know, pick up the can with the string, you know? I know they don't do nothing power, so... <laughs> Yeah, the first time I go went over there, I I'm, I am not joking, dude. He uh, he is like the old school Amish. He he actually had those gas those uh, oil lanterns. Yeah, that's what was the light in his shop. Wow, wow, oh. damn it. Yeah, I wonder wonder what uh, waiting on to see if uh, John Darnell's up already out fishing or not. <laughs> oh man, more than likely. More than likely is what I'm thinking. Yeah, because it's pretty outside. There's a slight slight breeze. It looks like, but yeah. Now I'll, I'll take a look at the weather here in a minute. I'm just I'm hurrying to try to get all these leaders off my my desk here and stuff like that so it's already done before I, I come back so I can start another process. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. But, <laughs> you alright? <laughs> Just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I know. Uh, Howie, nope. No, it's not. Do we sound Taliban to you? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we both got a big, big old freaking Texas accent. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's right. Got to get it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What Taliban has gold Trump, you know, shoes in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! No no no! <laughs> Takes a ban. <laughs> yeah, we're we're the type of Texans that if they would have if they would have blamed Dale Earnhardt's death on the Taliban, we would have been we would have been the first ones in the bass boats heading out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we. We're the shark dynasty. There you go. I like that one. <laughs> mm. Nope. Oh. Well, we can see where this one's going with uh, Howie. <laughs> Be one of them. Keep, po keep poking fun. So. As long as you keep it rated G, guys. We, we run a family-orientated channel here. And, yeah. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, I don't know if y'all got to see them already on the other lives, but I got them in the other day. Ooh, 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 ooh! I got something else in. Oh, great! What'd you get? Hold on, hold on. They came in yesterday, and I totally forgot about them. So. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, sir. 
So, yeah. No, I saw those and I was like, I know they're cheap, but yeah, that's pretty, pretty motivational right there. So, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Yeah. And yeah, both of them are like that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tim. <laughs> Inshore, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I saw them and I was like, I got to have them. I got to have them. <laughs> yes, sir. They actually had a whole bunch for, like, for each branch of the military, too, and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I like that one because it kind of just supports them all, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, What's up, Robert? Hard life. Hello? Hello, am I speaking to the business owner? Yeah, I ain't got time for you this morning. Normally, I like carrying on that one. How can I help you? <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Oh, my I'm, gosh. I don't think I'm going to have enough hook sections for all the mono I have up here, but we're going to see. So, you know that saying that uh, the apple does not fall far from the tree? Yeah. Dear Lord, my daughter, last night, she got a phone call from some telemarketer. And she, she knew it was a telemarketer because she's seen the name before. Uh-huh. Dear God. You know how she answered the phone? No. <laughs> she goes, Big Johnson's crematory. You stab him, we slab him. <laughs> and oh, it, man. Was, it was one of those moments where you're sitting there going, holy crap, I can't believe she did that. But you wanted to shed a tear because you're so damn proud. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> one of the guys wrote down something here, and I've got it somewhere. And it was, uh, welcome to the FBI's uh, criminal uh, criminal fraudulent check. Hold, stand by while we run your bank account information and stuff like that and start moving funds up <laughs> and click. <laughs> <laughs> I have it here somewhere. I forgot who wrote it for me, but yeah, they did. And I was like, you got to write that down. I, I need that. <laughs> I need that. Uh, I don't know. It's somewhere here. It is somewhere here. So, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Holy crap. Dang, they got big permits coming in. Man, yeah, that that's just. I want to go catch those some GTs, like. Yep. Did you did you see that uh, that picture I posted or shared? Uh, no, I have not been on it. Uh, I think I saw it last night for a few minutes, but that was it. Like so. it was uh from that. Them two, that that couple that own Slap a Fish, the ones that make the stickers. Mm -hmm. She drew a big old permit. Damn man. Yeah, yeah. So and it, it she, she, they're going to be turning them into stickers here pretty soon. So. Damn man. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. I told. Yeah. I, I told Jerry, Jerry D, I told her, I said, you know, you need to quit making all these. I'm going to go broke just buying your stickers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, see, all the stickers, almost all of them, almost, there's a few of them that they already had, but almost all the stickers that are in here are because I was thinking of things to say and stuff like that. So she's like, hey, I'm game to make them if you, you'll come. Then I sent her a list, like a whole front page and another page. <laughs> And then I got the price. I was like, okay, I got to cut down a little bit. <laughs> I don't have enough to cover every single one of them. So, yeah, I'm. They, they, they do. They have, they have pricing for tackle shops and stuff. 
Over mm-hmm. slap a fish? Yeah. Where they could, you know, they'll, you know, send you everything where you could, they could set it up like on a turntable or something like that or a turn rack or whatever it is. Uh huh. You got to give them a shout. I need, I need one of those for sure because it's taking up a wall and, you know, a wall and a half of stickers just because I want people to be able to read them. But I think one of those would be a lot better in the shop and then I could start making more leaders to put up on the wall and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, but I get, I get, I bet you them stickers would sell out there. Oh yeah, no, they they do. It's just like I said, you know, being dead in the water, not, they, nothing was selling. Like nobody was even coming yeah. in and stuff like that. It was crazy, and you know, I know it's not just me because all all business owners, all like a, I got a bunch of friends in business, not just fishing, mechanics, uh, plumbing, roofing uh retail like all of them all of them across the board were saying the same thing that no it's not just you you know everybody else so that was uh you know that i mean if you think about it look at all the restaurants that had to close you know tgi fridays like really they closed you know it it gets you thinking you know those that survive this, this, you know, pandemic of whatever's in the current office is crazy. Like, but like I said, I'm gonna give it to praying November. We should be good to go after that point. We'll see. So, I'm hoping. You and me both, bro. That it is. It has been one tough, tough four years. So yeah. You know, I mean, for us. They're making millions, you know what I mean? I did see a post the other day, like, they should uh, really investigate those that are in office that are supposed to only make, like, 200000 a year or something like that, yet are millionaires years later after being in office. Like, how did they become millionaires while in office? Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. Uh, but we'll yeah. see. We will see, so... Well, either way, the way I'm looking at it, if if it comes to that deal, you know, I'm going to have a crap load of fishing tackle, so I won't have to buy none for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. True. Right. That, 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 that is the upside of it. <laughs> yep. Yep. So we will see, man. We'll see. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, yes, we Edgar, lost, we lost one. One sub that took us from twenty-four-four to twenty-four-three. Amen. Yep. Yep. We'll get yep. back, Toby. Toby. That or you know a lot of other stuff. You know, I mean, they're selling out America. I mean, really, they 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 really are. You know, so it it sucks. So. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I mean, Damn, he, he's got more than I do. <laughs> I was trying not to say that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, they, yeah, there's a bunch of them that are there. It's not. It, it's a bunch of them, and it's crazy. Like, I, dude, the one, the one that was talking about, you know, yeah, we should really get them to go to the sun. But I think they should go at nighttime because it won't be as hot. <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> what? And you're in office. Hold on. Wait. You know, that just gives motive. You know, we tell all these kids to stay in school and learn what the hell they're talking about. And, and you have this person in office who just said that and your kids look at you and be like and you were saying like <laughs> like oh my gosh like they just <laughs> they just ruined a whole generation or gave another generation a another stepping stone to like yeah golly what's up <laughs> Timothy how you doing
keeping an eye out of what's going to happen. I mean, it is. And there's still people like, I don't understand it. They're, oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's been, uh, you know, he has all these charges. Well, yeah, you know, these guys are making a whole bunch of crap up. Yet we didn't pay the guy for four years, and he still did his job. Like, he foregoed his payment of being a president, you know, and he didn't even want to get paid, like. Wow, that was amazing, and they're still finding a way to try to hate the guy. Like, but my biggest call out to any of those that do not support him, you know, that are supporting all these other morons in office, how many of the foreign invaders have you taken into your house? That's my question to y'all. How many of these foreign invaders have you taken into your house since you, you don't support him you support the other guys like I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. So yeah. That's mine. That's mine. I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so oh, find well. thing yeah. Uh, I got black green and i have about 20 more minutes guys of being live and then i gotta cut and run i will be live later on this afternoon um it'll probably be about three or so before before i go live again uh, yeah my my daughter wants to go to wednesday church and then she wants to go to texas roadhouse she wants a steak yeah yep 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 so pretty awesome. She 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 real. She ain't she, I want McDonald's. No, she wants the roadhouse. <laughs> awesome. Well hey Hoss, I'm gonna be going into an area where I get real crappy service, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Alright, brother. Y'all be safe on the road, man. I right, will do, man. I'll catch you later round three. Alright, later, Bob. Later. All right. Oh man, yeah, no. I, I I like going to the roadhouse, and we had a question the other night. We were talking about it, and somebody uh, up north asked if you know the roadhouse jacks up the stakes, so like they do wherever he's at and stuff like that. Like, no, they actually do pretty good. Um, I actually got a buddy that he's one of the chefs there and stuff like that, and it's pretty cool when I see him because he knows what I'm gonna order. <laughs> I normally sit there and I pick out my steak from the deal because they don't charge anything extra, you know? It's just whatever the meal is and stuff like that. So, yes. Yes, she turned nine years old today. She is so excited. Like, she, <laughs> we were talking about that last night. Like, she was planning her birthday last year, the day after her birthday. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's awesome. How old is Carly going to be? I know you said, but I got very short-term memory. <laughs> Let's see. We'll do. We'll do. Most definitely. Yeah, no, she's uh, she's really excited, so. There you go. Ten, nine and ten. Probably, probably some of the hardest... Fishing girl that I know too. <laughs> she likes getting on the kayak. She she yeah. It is pretty awesome. So let's see what what what, what, what. trying to figure out push the envelope and short sleeves make the leap if you stay where you are comfy. Yeah, no doubt on that. Uh, I was reading that the other day, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. A lot of guys are posting it up, too, you know, getting out of your comfort zone and being uncomfortable is sometimes the only way to make those true growths in life and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, I was talking to a few buddies and they're like, man, like they know where I started out 
with the fishing tackle and, you know, on the weekend, on the piers and stuff like that. And then he goes, you know, you know, being in the fishing tackle business himself, but he doesn't rely on his, his tackle sales. He, he has a job that he maintains because that one is always going to be there no matter if the tackle sales are there or not. And he goes, and for you to put all your eggs in a basket and stuff like that, I said, well, it, yeah, it's definitely hard. You know, it's definitely a decision to make and stuff like that. But having a, a good amount of people to support you in your decision and stuff like that. And, you know, because I used to work at the base. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. And I was making 27 something. And I think it was 27.95 an hour um, to going full time into f making fish and tackle. It definitely has its perks, but it also has its drawbacks. <clears throat> you know, so now you go from being your own boss to, <laughs> or not, not, you know, from working from somebody else to being your own boss for sure. That all everything that's on it is always on your plate, whether you're going to make it or not, and stuff like that. So. I wish I could get her a pink Abbott, but they stopped making them. So, yeah. But I don't know if y'all guys saw her cast out that spinning rod. She <laughs> she definitely didn't hold back. And she also wants to get into the distance casting. She, she liked that. So, we're definitely going to have to set something up for that here pretty soon. And depending on where we're at this weekend, I'll be definitely showing everybody the, the cast and stuff like that, too. So, have fun. Oh, yeah. We'll do. We'll do for sure. Yeah, we're at 12 thumbs up, guys. Come on. There's 32 of y'all watching. <clears throat> and she don't hold back either. Like, when we're out there, I mean, y'all see, she gets on the reels. She don't care. As long as she's pulling in the fish, it, it don't matter the size of the reel. She's... She's tried to get on the 80s before and stuff like that, so. <laughs> yeah. But I'm almost done with this. I've got about 15 more minutes before I got to cut and run. So I do appreciate y'all coming on. And remember, our 25,000 subscriber mark is coming, guys. We're about 600 away to hitting that. And then we are definitely going to have a cut off time. As soon as we hit 25,000 subscribers, we are cutting it off. You won't be able to enter in anymore, so don't miss out. Um, I think later on today, once I get back, before I go live again, I'll go through the emails and try to get an up-to-date list of where we are. And then that way I can have that information for this afternoon's live video feed on that. So, I am. I was showing Jacob last night. We we were on the channel discussing some things, and yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's the she didn't get to finish the fight because the shark ended up getting off the hook. Uh, you know, it happens, but she was ready. She <laughs> she was like, "I got it, I got it." She wanted to keep cranking. She uh, I was like, "Well, no, I mean, it, the fish already dropped it." You know, so. She was ready. We had it in the uh, concrete, so that way we didn't have to worry about harness her. And since it's a show butt, she could just sit on the floor and just crank on it and stuff like that. So it had definitely been some trial and error, but sure, for sure. Yes, Abbott does make jig and reels. They are the J models. So if you see JX or anything with the J, MXJ, SJ, um, SJ, the HXJ, those are all the jigging models. Yes. <clears throat> oh, wow. I'm definitely, uh, I'm going to be working on my casting for sure. I'm learning that, that other style, and I like it because you can see the amount of effort he's putting into it when he's casting and stuff. And, and it's crazy, too, because, you know, I was thinking, you know, having all that flight time, was actually helping me but these guys are hitting that seven eight hundred feet at like five and a half six seconds 
So. <clears throat> oh, no doubt. Yep. William is setting the bar for the amount of shares. That's for sure. So. It really going to help us get up there, but. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, sir. Again, guys, uh, the way it works is you share the link of any of our videos and or the YouTube channel for Team Hard Life and Jacked Up Leatherworks and to any social media platform. Also, too, remember, Sharkotic is also one of our YouTube channel sponsors as well. They've donated a Avid 50 wide for the for the uh, the 25k giveaway now here's the thing if you want to upgrade onto a bigger reel all you have to do is pay the difference and or use that, those funds to purchase smaller reels because that was that was a pretty good deal that um, one of Jacob's uh, subscribers had talked about and that's something that we normally do here I just you know didn't think of it to tell you the truth on this particular event but yeah, if, if the reels are too big for what you want to do or too small, we can definitely use it as credit. So no worries on that. That is for the prizes like Jack the Leatherworks and or this reel that has not, it's been paid for, but it has not been purchased. The other gear that has already been donated, that's a hard item already here. If you win those, there's no exchanges, no refunds on those just because they are sponsored gear. It has been sent to us, so. Uh. <clears throat> so they, they got any, um, they got a, a timeline of when you'll be able to go back to work there, William? Yeah, <laughs> I was showing Jacob one of William's emails, and it, it also gives a, gives us a list of how many emails have come in from you, and it was like 300 emails. Uh, yeah. So I definitely got a lot of going through and seeing how I can knock that out. <clears throat> Okay. Well, I know I know you're kind of excited, man. <laughs> you know, we're we're all excited to leave work, and then after a while, it's like, okay, I'm kind of ready. <laughs> I'm kind of ready to go back. You know, know that for sure. Hmm. I'm almost out of hooks here so that means i'm not going to be able to finish the clear mono or the coat of cable so it's all right that's for right now we'll we'll finish them off next week because i'm down to about 10 of the coat of cable sections for my cast outs i'm building six foot shark casting leaders so there's the cable it's already coated up and it's not swivel for a surf weight Go with the mono. So. <clears throat> yeah, no, I think I think William has gone through the whole channel of all of our videos, sharing every single one of them. So yeah. What's up, bluegrass? How you doing? No bluegrass has been putting in a lot of videos too, and he's also commented on every single video that he has shared. <laughs> so he's also keeping me working for sure. So. Get a little ring out of there. Let's see. We 
we're definitely going to have keep looking out the window, you know, like every hour, but the wind is starting to pick up some more. You can see the palm trees are starting to move a little more. So, but I can't tell yet which way the wind is going because it's not blowing in a specific direction. And I cannot see the flag that's normally, normally I see the flag once I go by the door. So, Yeah, now that's that's for sure. It does take a little bit longer. <clears throat> but I tell you what, man, I am definitely glad I grew up in the generation I grew up in, where we still we we, we knew how to survive on our own. You know, <laughs> we were kicked out of the house. <laughs> Basically in the morning and, you know, we didn't come back till nighttime <laughs> once the uh, street lights came on kind of deal. So, dang it. And William, where are you at again? Man, almost done, almost done. But I'll go and hang these up before I, I should be able to finish this before I have to run. <clears throat> Gettysburg, wow. Sometimes I have to recut the tip there because when I cut a whole bunch of monos, it tends to squeeze them and mushroom out the tip so it doesn't want to go in the, uh, the aluminum or the uh, double mini sleeves right here. I don't use aluminum too much because they're bright and shiny and I don't want uh, on the by chance that some fish has a wild hair to come up and uh, catch the line right there and cut, cut you off. So, yeah. I've actually had these double minis tested with the the cable, double double crimp, single crimp, and also back braided. Um, I sent them into a cable company over here uh, to have them stress pulled and stuff like that. And I have the paperwork somewhere, and I know I showed it to the channel a few years ago. Uh, the reason I did that is because I had some people saying that the cable will slip out, and this and that. I'm like, bro, your line's gonna slip before that happens. You know, kind of deal, especially if you're on a fight. And that's why we're always very attentive to how the crimpers are working and stuff like that. So, yeah, the only way it's going to slip out is if it didn't get crimped at all. And you can tell because there won't be a piece of the, the sleeve left over. So now I have seen um, on other kind of leaders and stuff like that where the... Uh, they use too big of a sleeve and it doesn't catch the, the cable the way it's supposed to. And that's a very scary situation right there. Cause yeah, you're on the fight, you have all this pressure on it and then the line gives and you could go flying back, you know? <clears throat> so what's the update with that bridge? I mean, uh, now a lot more information is coming out and a lot more, um, uh, negative theories are coming out of what's going on with that or what went on and it you know and then i saw a video the other day of another barge hitting hitting uh, a bridge too that bridge didn't go down but the barge did hit so i don't know like i said it, it's definitely you know i kind of thought that the other day with everything going on but it's it's definitely hard to say and, and to tr tell you the truth, I wouldn't put a past to everything with as much uh, illegals that came through and, you know, having some of them confirmed to be terrorists, like, 
how do you know? It is real scary now, you know, so we're definitely not taking any chances and stuff like that, so. All right, so I'm going to move over here. I got a few more minutes before I got to cut the video feed to go to my VA appointment. Let's see. There we go. Let's see. So those are the leaders that I'm pulling out the six footers. So you can see the, the leaders that were freshly built are kind of curled up like this. The ones that were in, in bags for a long time, they pigtail like this, and that's why we got to let them hang. And after a while, they'll start to, to straighten out because of the line memory for the monofilament. But uh, the ones that have been hanging for a while, you can see how straight they are. That is, that is food for thought, guys. That happens too when you cast out and the leader lands in the water. It'll pigtail like that if you don't have enough pressure on it. And so sometimes you'll get your leader and it's all balled up. And it's because when it landed, it impacted and got all tangled up. So just a little food for thought there. But um, all right, guys, I got a cut and run over here. I've got another appointment to get to. But again, remember our 25,000 subscriber mark giveaway is coming up. Cutoff is when we hit 25,000 subscribers. You will not be able to enter in anything thereafter. The email is teamheartlife number one at gmail.com, guys. So um, they're working with 24 7 with the diver saying there's zero visibility that maybe put out a sonar image online in the news. So, wow. Let's see. Let me go back a little bit. Into the channel to be able to put up boats through. Wow, oh, man, that's crazy. So, all right, guys, I got to run. Y'all have a good one, and we'll catch y'all later this afternoon.